With me is Julian Crouch from Improbable Theatre, and the work is called The Devil and Mr. Punch. I think puppets are a very pure theatrical form, in that, and just with this on my hand, you know, an audience knows it's not real. But, but immediately it's like you're opening a door to the audience to say, what would it be like if you believed this was a head? Right. And these were hands and that this thing had, a, had, a, had life and thoughts. So in, in a sense, as a puppeteer, you're doing, you're doing a little, you're suggesting something that the audience fills in. Right. And they, and they have to sort of invest part of themselves. That's right. They're and so some, they're, they're bringing a chunk of themselves, which I think is actually what art probably is. Hmm. All kinds of art right. are probably that. But there's something about the puppet that's maybe the clearest demonstration of that. Hmm. I mean, they're just good hmm. storytelling. And I think people desperately need to frame their experience hmm. with stories. Everyone. Keep the child, Mr. Punch. Give it to me. Give it to me, my darling. Who's a beautiful baby? Oh, you're so awkward with the child. So I That's made those masks, those big versions yeah. of, of, and you know, I made them. I think both of them the same day. Pretty. I wasn't thinking too heavily about them. But you put them on, and they totally change you. Right. And I was ah. reading something in a book by Keith Johnson about mask work. How he's saying that you know they made a mask who had a big nose and a big chin and couldn't help hitting people. And I know there is something in the shapes. You know, there's something in the shape of his face. So wherever he looks, he looks with a lot of energy because the right. nose huh. is looking with him. Huh. And I think it leads him into trouble, uh -huh. in a sense. Uh -huh. And the chin also says, like, chin is also like defiance. So he has curiosity and defiance. Go to mommy, puppy, go to mommy. So I don't really think the show's about violence. I think the show's about conflict and love mm. and what it's like to love someone and be in conflict with them at the same time. And I think violence on stage is the theatrical metaphor for conflict. So when Punch is hitting Judy with sure. a stick or throwing right. the baby out the window, yeah. that's a theatrical uh, explosion right. of what it might be to go home and have an argument with your wife whilst right. the baby's crying. I am investigating a very serious crime and I need to take down your particulars. <laughs> <laughs> May I remind you, Mom, that I am an officer. They're squealing now. And Rose B. Saying the other little goodbye. And They're and squeezing now. And I'm not interested in things being perfect. I think I want to be surprised all the time. Hmm. You know, I, and yourself I, as a man. Yeah, and I want to be moved, and I want to be surprised, and you know, I get, I want to be touched by stuff. And I don't know why a couple of guys, you know, in plastic armor, hitting each other with anachronistic blow-up swords <laughs> that I haven't had time to turn into anything else. <laughs> And then uh, saying, I love you, and they're falling on the ground. And then someone comes out and sings really almost a totally inappropriate song. The final song. In a song, completely yeah. different accent. You know, right. uh, but for some reason, those combinations of things touch me. Huh. And, uh, and I, you know, I like the feel in the audience. And even, even if some people are confused, I like that feeling. Without someone. 